3D printing. Am I right? <laughs> I have a 3D printer. I have an Ender 3, a very modified, not very, I have a modified Ender 3 V2. It, I got it around right after the pandemic or a little bit during pandemic, right? I've had it for a few years now and I wanted to talk about what I use it for, basically what I use 3D printing for, what, what things, what's the benefits of 3D printing for me as a one, as a filmmaker or videographer and two, as a gamer, because there's stuff that people might want to know. Hey guys, I'm DC. You can call me DC. And today we're going to be talking about 3D printing or the things that I print, basically. There are a few things here that I designed myself and also a few things that I downloaded, modified, and also just downloaded and used. So we're going to start with that. And where do I begin? I guess one of the oldest things that I printed is one of these. All right. So this. This is one of the oldest things that I printed. Um, I'll give you guys like three seconds to guess what this is. All right. So this is basically a stand. So if you have anything that has a cold shoe mount, basically for camera stuff, so monitors, lights, or I, have, I have a light over here. Lights that have like a cold shoe mount, like something like this, right? Um, basically it sticks right there and then it locks so it's basically a stand i have I, I have one of these this is one of the oldest things that i printed and i still use them every now and then they're very useful and yeah so most of the things that i print for videography stuff is practical things like for example a holder for batteries so i have a bunch of um i have a bunch of batteries for my monitors monitors I have a bunch of batteries for my monitor, my field monitor. I designed and printed this, um, I would call it case, but it doesn't really hold them. It just, I would usually put a rubber band around it. Anyway, it's just a holder for them. So the reason why it's white and yellow is because I ran out of yellow and then I just continued it with white. And now it looks like a banana. I don't, I don't know. Or like a cheesecake, but yeah. So this is, um, I designed this and I printed it myself. So yeah, it's more practical things like that for the videography stuff. There's also this. I've given away a few of these actually. I've given away one for for Ellie and I also gave one to Aljud. It's an SD card holder basically. So it holds, um, what's that? It holds six full size SD cards and six micro SD cards. Um, you can find files like this one and this one and the stand, uh, you can get these on sites like Thingiverse, Printables. You just look for keywords like how you Google stuff online. You, you, you go to those sites and see what you want, basically, and just print them out. Besides those things, right, I also have another one here. I just realized it's a cover for my monitor with uh, Oasis stickers on it. So, yeah. So, it's, I, I made this. I designed and made this with, um, I think, this one I made with Fusion 360 but I have moved over to Onshape. I use Onshape when I design things. Basically, I wanted to make like a protector for my monitor because I can't find a screen protector for it. So I just made a, a cover basically that latches on using these tabs over here. For the videography stuff, that's usually it. It's more practical things. It's things that will make my life a little bit easier or more organized when I'm shooting. So. Uh, the other things that I usually print when I am like either bored or want to just print something, just test filament that I get is like these kind of these things. So they're like um, this one is they're like statues, basically, or like visual stuff, but there's no really practical use for them besides they make me happy. So this one is a low poly. It's a low poly Snorlax there. I'm struggling with the name. But yeah, it's a low poly Snorlax. I also have a low poly Pikachu somewhere. I don't know where it is. I think I gave it away. I don't know. This one is one of the downloaded and modified. So it's a lot harder to download and modify files. But this one, I I think this one I modified with, I forget the website, but I'm, I'm going to put it like right here. But I modified it using that one. It was very simple, but this is basically a D20. So there's an arrow and uh, there's numbers and then you just spin it and there you go there's the number that was a three that roll was ass and yeah I, like stuff like that i used to sell these i don't sell them anymore because mm, nobody really wanted them so i still have a few of those tapos 
Um, recently, I've been into D&D as well. So, wait, before that, I do have one of my old prints here. It's an octopus. <laughs> well, long. I wanted to print one. So, yeah, that's 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 it. It's an octopus. Um, recently, I've been playing D&D. I'm just I'm a real beginner, honestly. But I printed I trial printed one of these uh, dice towers. So you just put the dice on top and it comes out at the bottom. <laughs> it's very satisfying. Like for the past like three days, if I'm just on my computer and I'm just watching YouTube video, I just do this. I just keep doing that. Yeah, there's nothing else that I do. It's so satisfying. Yeah. And the thing about this is that I haven't printed it yet, but it comes with a cover. That's why there's a spiral. And then it will hold all of your dice for you when you travel. So you can basically travel with this whole tower and all of your dice in it and that's all you need to bring so yeah that's actually it's a really fun print I, I i i mainly print with two plastics mainly pla and ptg this one is kind it kind of looks a little janky if you look at it uh, it doesn't look perfect like the other ones because this was printed in ptg which is notoriously harder to print with so this was already printing pretty slow and it was still pretty hard I am currently waiting for a new batch of PLA. This is PLA. This is a silk blue PLA. This one is this one is a half yellow and half cold white PLA. I'm I ordered a new cold white PLA roll because I really like the cold white. And then I also have like basic generic white PLA. They're different. They're very different. Cold white and white PLA. I don't know if it will see through the camera, but Basically, cold white is a lot bluer of a tone compared to the regular white, which is a lot more like plain white. So, yeah, there's also a few other things that I printed over the years for for specifically like gaming. For example, I have a video before for my Modoc. If you guys haven't seen that, that's one of my most popular videos for some reason. That one and my reviews of the Model O and the G3 uh, Viper Mini. The Modoc I designed and printed myself. And it's basically a dock for the Model O. A lot of people are still asking me if I'm ever gonna make like a Model D or Model D minus dock. I'm like, I wish I could, but it takes a lot of time and it freaking, it's expensive because I have to own the mice. So yeah, that's that's the reason why I don't really design docks anymore. But the Model, the model O dock, the Mo dock is still available. It's on Thingiverse. I think it's also on printables, but I'm not sure. If you're local here in the Philippines, you can also get it at Make It 3D. I sent them the blank file. If you want to print one of those, you can get one for Make It 3D. I think they're on Shopee. I don't know if they're on Lazada, but I, I know they're on Shopee. But yeah, that's basically it. That's the things that I print on my printer. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any comments, comment them down below. If you, blah, 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 blah. If you guys learned anything, if you guys want to ask me anything, I read all of the comments because there's, there's not a lot, honestly. I'm lucky to have one, let alone a lot. So yeah, if, if you guys want to ask me anything about the video, comment them down below. Tapos, if you guys haven't uh, seen the previous video, just check it out over here. And then if you want to wanna do the thing and subscribe, check it over here. So yeah, I'll see you guys the next time. It's weird. It feels weird. See you guys soon. Problem. I'll just do that. So yeah.